So about six months ago, before I got this new PC, I did a video going through most of the Windows 10 settings and what you should set, and my opinion on each setting that affected performance, that is. And although that video was good, there was one thing that I wanted to go into more detail about, and that was hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, because on my old rig, there wasn't as much of a difference, if any, in my performance with it on versus off. In my new rig, however, specs in the description, the results that I got in Tarkov were different, and so I wanted to show those to you today and also explain what HAGS is and how to enable it. So let's jump straight into it. So to start off, how hardware accelerated GPU scheduling actually works. Essentially, there's a task called the Windows Display Driver Model that runs on a thread of your CPU and helps deliver tasks to your GPU. These tasks are normally delivered in high priority bunches or groups to the GPU. This means that, for example, if you move your mouse or press something on your keyboard, this input won't be delivered until the next batch of commands is delivered to the GPU. Even though this is generally not a bad thing, what hardware seller GPU scheduling does is it moves these high priority tasks and the scheduling of said tasks directly onto the GPU to reduce latency. Theoretically, this could help in performance in some titles, and as people have tested on multiple occasions in a bunch of different games, it can in some, but in others, it can drastically hurt your performance. It really just depends title to title. When I tested it with my 1060, I noticed little to no valuable difference in performance, but I still kept it on regardless. With a new install of Windows 10, I realized I had it off from my previous testing with my DLSS video. And if you haven't watched that, go check that out. So I went to the same locations, at least some of them, with HAGS on to see the difference. And the results were pretty good. On average, I gained about an FPS. Some situations was only like five or six, but in other situations like factory, it was almost 15, if I remember correctly off the top of my head. Even though this isn't much being a mere 10% gain in most instances, every frame helps. So I figured I'd let you guys know that with 30 series cards, it may be a good idea to turn this on for Escape from Tarkov. As far as my 1060 goes on my previous system, I didn't see much improvement with it on, but you should go and check your system and see if it actually helps you out in performance. Once you've done a benchmark without it on, just so that you can see if there's any increase or decrease in performance, you should go to your settings, then go to System, Display, scroll down to Graphics Settings, and then check Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Simply restart your computer, and then try Tarkov again in the same situation, doing as much of the same things as you can to see if there's any performance impact. I know this is more of a simple change, but since I forgot that it existed, I figured maybe some of you did too. So I decided to visit it again and show you that I actually did get a performance gain with a newer rig. I'll have some of the benchmarks playing on screen for the next minute or so, just so you can see the performance gains that I got on a couple different maps. Like I said, it isn't that much, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep it on because it's a nice boost to my FPS that makes it just a little bit smoother on my 144 hertz monitor. Hopefully this puts a couple of you above that 60 FPS threshold. I want to put this out there just so you guys remember this setting because I forgot this setting when I reinstalled Windows 10 on my system. So here you go. I'm going to have a more in-depth testing of Escape from Tarkov with resizable bar coming soon. Once I get the time to sit and test through every single map again with resizable bar on, I haven't turned it on yet, but I feel like the results are going to be interesting with that. So stay tuned. With that out of the way, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. Let me know if HAGS helped you in the comments below. And with all that, Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. It's Clem, walking out. Later.